Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, spending some time with me today. So for this video, I have a very special box here. This is some friend mail from my wonderful friend, Steph from uh, Steph Loves Life or Steph Melts. If you have not checked out her channel yet, I will leave her in the description of this video. Please go check out her channel if you have not yet. She posts amazing videos and she is the one that started our round robin that we had earlier this year. So we are gonna jump right in. I had no idea that Steph was sending this to me. I do remember, and but I did forget that she had posted in our um, group chat, there was a couple of Scentsy bars from the new summer collection that she had asked if anybody, you know, was interested in because they weren't really for her. And I said, oh yeah, I was like, I'll take them. And then I just like totally like spaced on it. And then when I was leaving my house last weekend, the mail must have came the day before after I had already gotten home. So I had no idea. And I just walked downstairs and this package was just sitting there in my hallway. And I'm just like, what did I order? And then I looked at it and it said it was from Stephanie. I was like, oh my God. So Stephanie, thank you so much. So we are going to jump right in. The first thing, I couldn't even believe that she fit this whole, <laughs> this into this uh, box here. But this is a whole loaf that has been cut up already. And this is from Vintage Chic Scents. This is called I'll Get You My Pretty. This is mango papaya, mango sorbet, and fresh picked strawberries. I haven't really tried much from uh, Vintage Chic. I've never purchased from that vendor. But this is actually better than I thought it was gonna be. Cause I'm usually not a, like a fruity person, but I do get the papaya. I get the papaya the most actually. The fresh picked strawberries is what scared me a little bit because sometimes fresh picked strawberry oils, depending on which vendor it's from, can lean kind of like artificial strawberry to me. But this is actually just like a nice summer fruity scent. I mostly get the papaya with the hint of the mango. And I do like papaya scents, so. Yeah, I get a lot of the papaya with just like a hint of mango. I honestly don't get any fresh picked strawberries from this, so. That is good, and I am interested to warm that to see how it does. I better get a move on warming that because I'm already really starting to get like into the fall scents now, so. But that is I'll Get You My Pretty from Vintage Chic. Stephanie, thank you so much for sending me a whole loaf. Okay, next, I believe it was this, this this and this I think these were the f I think it was four bars from the uh some the new summer collection that she had posted in the group chat now two of these I do have and I um I do like them on cold I haven't melted them yet but I do like them on cold so when she put these in there I was like well yes I'll take them and there was two of them that I wanted to try but haven't yet because I haven't placed an order with Scentsy for a while and I've been like delaying my club so I think my, I just delayed it again so I don't think my club's supposed to ship now until like the end of September so we'll go over the two that I I do have the first one here is Pinkberry Sandalwood and she is so nice to have the notes on here this is Pinkberry Fresh Cherry Tonka Bean and Sandalwood now this scared me at first, like when I first saw it coming into the catalog, but then I heard some people say that it was nice because of the cherry and I'm not really a cherry person. The only cherry scent that I do like is actually from Scentsy and that's the maraschino sugar cookie. But even with that, I sometimes have to be in the mood for it. But I honestly don't really get any cherry from this. I really just get like that nice like tonka bean and sandalwood scent. It's just like a very nice relaxing scent can't pop it out this is gonna be just like a beautiful bedroom scent for me ah oh, so good uh, so that is pink berry sandalwood the next one I do have but haven't melted yet either is sun castles 
This one is Sunny Coconut Tropical Pistachio and Sweet Almond. This is another one that scared me, but then I heard people, you know, talk about it. The pistachio and the sweet almond scare me because usually pistachio to me, from a, especially from a lot of vendors, leans cherry to me. And, you know, and I don't do cherry scents. And almond, I'm not really a fan of almond scents either. Something about that note too just doesn't jive well with me. But I don't really get that. A lot of people were like, you know, comparing this to the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. And that's kind of what I get from it. I do get like the Boom Boom Cream from this. So I think that's why I like it. But I have heard that it's a light performer, so I do have to melt it soon to see. But it is just a really pretty, kind of like, you know, a little bit of like the fruity. And I do get like the coconut. I almost kind of get like a hint of floral. I think it's just like the sweetness of like the cherry and stuff. But it's really pretty. So I'm glad to have another bar of that. I don't think this is something that I will club, but you know, I do have a full bar at home and this one's only missing two cubes out of it. So that'll be plenty for me. And then the next two were the ones that I was interested in trying too, but I these are the ones that I haven't gotten yet. And this first one is Sippin' Poolside. I've heard very good things about this one. This one is Fresh Pear, Sparkling Citrus, and Aquatic Accord. Yeah, this is good. You get the citrus and the aquatic note. Ugh. It just smells like, you know, you're sitting there at the beach Ugh. and you have like, you know, a fruity drink, like a pear, like margarita, but like, you know, without like the alcohol scent. Ugh. That is really nice. I can understand why people are raving about this one. That is a really pretty citrus aquatic with that pear note. So that is sipping poolside. I'll have to warm this soon because I know that um, the bars are going to be going away at the end of the month. So I have to see if that's one that I would like to put into my club. And of course, every time I film, my ring light is dying. So, And the next one is Berry Sweet. And this one is fresh blueberries, strawberries, and sweet candy glaze. This one is good. I get like the strawberry glaze. I honestly, I don't really get any blueberries. I really just get like a sweet, like syrupy strawberry glaze from this. It's really nice though. I think some of the, I haven't had too many, but the few strawberry scents that I have tried from Scentsy are pretty good. Yep, that just smells just like a very sweet, sugary, syrupy strawberry glaze. So that is very sweet. And of course, my ring light just died. So I'm sorry for the change in lighting here. But we just got a few more left. So we just got to plow through it. Okay, actually, I think this, I think it was five bars altogether. I think this one was another one that she had put in there. This is uh, Cake Me to Paradise. So this is Sweet Cake, Juicy Orange, and Island Rum. Now, this one scared me because of the rum note because I do not like boozy notes in wax. This, I do get like that rum note from it. I'm hoping that it won't come out too much on warm but I do get the rum note, but I'm also getting like an orange note. I don't get any cake from this. Maybe on the bottom, I get like a slight hint of cake note, but it really just smells like rum to me. So we'll have to see. If not, I can maybe mix this. I have like the very vanilla. Maybe I can mix this with like a nice vanilla to like tone down that rum note. I mean, it's not horrible, but I do get the rum note. I think it's because, you know, I don't like the boozy notes. I think that's why I'm probably picking up that the most. But that is Cake Me to Paradise. But I will warm it to see how it does. And then she sent me three bars from the um, Harry Potter collection. So like I said, I haven't purchased from Scentsy in a long time now. So I didn't get any of the um, Harry Potter collections. And honestly... I've never, you know, seen the Harry Potter movies. I've only read one of the books and that was when I was younger. So I don't really know too much about this. 
but this is the Harry Potter Honey Dukes collection. And this is called, this is the Fizzing Wisbees. Fizzing Wisbees. The packaging is really cute though. This, these don't, this one doesn't have the notes on it, but I do get like a fizzy note from this. A fizzy note, and then I'm getting like a fruity note. I'm trying to pick up what that is. It's like, like maybe like a citrusy, like orange. It smells familiar though, but I can't think of what it is. I don't know. It's definitely like a citrusy note to me. I think it might be orange. It's kind of like leaning more towards like a fizzy orange to me. But it's really nice. I'm interested to see how that one warms too. So that is fizzing Wisbees. Usually I'm not into the fizzy notes, but you know, it's not really like, it's a like a tad hint of fizziness, but it's not like, you know, like, you know, when you open up a like, a uh, clamshell that has like you know like a Mountain Dew note or something in there it's not like that so once again but that is this is something that maybe you know I can mix with like a vanilla bakery too the next one this is called exploding bonbons yes exploding I was just reading what it says in the middle it says exploding bonbons and then it says it is a real boom so exploding bonbons the packaging is so cute though Yep, this one doesn't have notes either. I don't know what I get from this. I definitely, like, I get another citrus. This is like another citrus scent to me too. I just don't know what. Hmm. Maybe like a slight hint of pineapple. I think I get another like orange note from this one too. It's really hard to describe because I know it's like a citrusy fruity note, but I just can't <laughs> place what, what note it is. If it's orange, maybe a slight hint of pineapple. I honestly don't know. I should have looked up the scent notes before this video, but just a really nice, you know, citrusy scent. So that is exploding bonbons. And then this is the last one. Yes. This one is Sherbert Lemon. I have really come to like lemon scents too. If I can get it open. Yeah. This smells like a lemon head. Like a straight up lemon head from the <laughs> the boxes that you get at like, you know, the grocery store or like the movie theater. This just smells like a straight up lemon head to me. It's good though. I do enjoy a nice lemon scent, especially like if you just got done cleaning the house or while you're cleaning the house and it's like, you know, a nice day outside, like a spring day or even like, you know, an early fall day before it starts to get like, you know, like really cool. And it's just like a nice like breezy day and you just like open up the windows and you have this going throughout the, your whole house while you're cleaning. This is definitely one of those types of scents. This is really good. I think it would be good for one of those days, like I said, when you're cleaning or after you're cleaning. I also think that this would be a really good bar to like mix with a bakery note, whether it be vanilla or maybe like a sugar cookie note you know, pound cake, strawberry pound cake might actually go good with this too. Mm. I really do like this though. This is a good lemon scent. Ugh, I'm excited to try that. I might experiment with this one too, you know, try to mix it with some bakery, see what I can do with it. So that is Sherbert Lemon. So yes, that is all that from my friend mail here from Steph. So Stephanie, thank you so much for sending this to me. You honestly did not have to do that. I appreciate you and our friendship so much. I love chatting with you and all the other ladies in our group chat every day. We have such an amazing group of ladies here and I love chatting with you all. I appreciate, you know, our friendship so much. Thank you so much for this package and all this beautiful wax. And yeah, if you, like I said, if you guys haven't checked out Steph's channel yet, I will leave her, uh, 
YouTube handle in the description of this video. Please go check her out. If you're not subscribed to her channel, please subscribe to her channel. She does amazing content. She always does great, you know, empties videos. She's always hauling. I know she just posted her, you know, Teddy B's uh, pre-order haul, you know, and I love her thumbnail with her just like, oh my God, she has like all the four boxes from the Teddy B's pre-order that she got. She is just so great. So yeah, if you haven't checked out her channel yet, please go do. Please subscribe to her if you haven't. And yeah, thank you so much for clicking on this video, spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are all doing well. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know, you know, if you've tried any of these scents before and what you think of them. Let me know what you're melting and what are you loving right now. And yeah, I will see you all in my next one. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.